These days, many regions of China have experienced massive queues of children for infusions at hospitals, it is said that this phenomenon is unprecedented in 40 years. A source said on October 9, in the early morning, a lot of children went to Beijing Children's Hospital for medical treatment, most of them are primary and secondary school students, there are often hundreds of people getting intravenous infusions at the same time, in some schools, more than a dozen students in one class caught a fever. According to the source, a child of his acquaintance is in elementary school and has had a high fever for six days, after three days of infusion, the pupil didn't recover and later was diagnosed with pneumonia. The Beijing Evening News reported on October 8 that since the beginning of the school year, a large number of children with fever had surged. Zhou, a parent, said that her child first coughed and had a fever, the medication had no effect, which made the fever last six days before the child began to have a persistent high fever, the hospital finally diagnosed severe pneumonia, requiring hospitalization. In addition to Beijing, netizens from various places reported on social media that children's hospitals were overcrowded in the early morning. Some people in Tianjin said the children lining up at hospitals are all coughing, they wonder whether it is due to a new virus, adults also suffer from swollen tonsils and high fevers. A Jiangsu netizen said he was shocked by the scene of hanging water bags at hospitals, yesterday, when going to the emergency room, he saw a big crowd entering the gate, due to the lack of beds, parents used camping trailers to let their children lie inside, they take advantage of the door to manually hang water bags. A Shanghai netizen said his child had been coughing for three weeks, so he took his child to the children's hospital, he wanted to run away as soon as he arrived since all the children there were crying, vomiting, coughing, and having a fever, the respiratory department and the infusion area were filled with people. Some Beijing citizens said that the queues of children for infusions were unprecedented in 40 years. Not only children but parents are also frequently reported to be infected, officials say this wave is a mycoplasma pneumonia infection. However, people are worried about the resurgence of the new coronavirus. Wang from Zibo, Shandong, said four of her family members had various symptoms, particularly, she suffered watery eyes, vision loss, physical weakness, and drowsiness, her parents felt very tired and lacked energy, her son had a runny nose, like catching the flu. A netizen in Jiangsu said that the pediatric departments of several local hospitals only accept patients with severe pneumonia, and even then, the beds have been full for five to six months. Don't forget to comment in the section below to share your opinions on today's topic with us, make sure to like and subscribe to see more interesting topics from Understand China, and thank you for tuning in.